Sigur că vreau să facem zice Rebi. Dar vreau să facem o lucru cu Mas. Let me start with my story. Um, Mary, thanks for the talk. I wish you had it about uh, five years ago <laughs> when I started with WordPress. And um, so let me just give you a background of uh, where I'm coming from. Huh? It was back in uh, 2013 or 2014, around there, late, late 2013, late, uh, early 2014. And uh, I had this big profile client. It was a hotel in Tanzania. And um, you can imagine, that time, buying, first of all, a laptop was, like, really expensive. <laughs> I mean, you could get um, a small 12-inch laptop for about 40000 yeah? And that time, I had a really small laptop. Um, it was an Acer. Acer Aspire D270, I think. So I was hard coding that um, that website, and um, the client needed, of course, perfection and everything. Then I, I accidentally gave someone the laptop, and um, I don't know what he did, but the whole everything just disappeared. The whole website, all my data, practically everything. And this is a hard-coded website. You can imagine trying to go through almost 10, 20,000 lines of code. Yeah? So, okay. Fortunately, I managed to get it back just a bit. And I actually showed a friend. And uh, this friend actually laughed at me. <laughs> because it was um, not what he's used to, really. So that's now where he introduced me to WordPress. And um, by the way, he mocked me. <laughs> and um, yeah, so ever since uh, I just went online, learned a few stuff on um, stuff like uh, lynda.com, and uh, yeah, ever since when, then I've never turned back, <laughs> so to say. Yes, so basically today I'm going to talk about um, why you really need to use uh, WooCommerce to build e-commerce stores and not any other platform. Oh, by the way, um, I'm not discriminating any other platform, I know there's what? There's Magento, there's Drupal Commerce, yes? Um, this is basically out of my experience with um, building e-commerce stores with um, WooCommerce. And um, It's been a really uh, good experience. I started um, with e-commerce stores about two and a half years ago. So, oh, that's my little profile. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> yes. So, um, let me start. How many, no, okay. Someone give me an example of an e-commerce site that uh, you've seen online. Yes? Jumia. Jumia. Um, another one? Yes? Anyone? At Ali Alibaba. Yes. Uh, any other one? Yeah? Any other? Yes. So there's so many, um, and they've been used. They've they've been built with um, quite a number of um, uh, systems and stuff like that. But today I'll focus on two uh, main platforms, which we all know, uh, WooCommerce and uh, Shopify. 
How many have heard of Shopify? Yes? Ah, great. How many have used it? So, back to the guys of um, Shopify. So basically, Shopify is an all-in-one e-commerce platform that makes it easy to create an online store, accept payments, and um, run, manage your inventory all in one single platform without ever having to worry about technical aspects of man managing a website, such as uh, security and uh, hosting. I know, okay, what comes into your mind when you actually want to start creating a e-commerce store? Say, for example, anyone? What comes into your mind? How easily someone can search and maybe comparing other products. If uh, there's a product I wanted listed, can I see maybe the other choppers, what experience they had and maybe other related items maybe I had done before that? Okay, great. Of course, you want to get it up, um, I, like Mary said, uh, to the first page of uh, Google. So, well, let's break it down. Um, just a disclaimer. Um, whatever you choose to use is up to you, but uh, just a side note there, you can, you can always use WooCommerce and uh, let no one shit shortchange you for that. Huh? So, um, before starting to really build your e-commerce site, you must consider a few things. Number one, budget. So, I'll pose this to um, rather not developers, but people who actually want to have an e-commerce site up. Um, and, okay, my experience is with more, most Kenyans. So, let me ask, how much would you st put at stake for an e-commerce site? Uh, allocating the budget, I'd base it on the value of the business, how much you're invested in the business, and how much you're willing to put aside for the budget. And um, on average, just a just, uh, rough estimate. <laughs> no, based on a business that is worth like 200,000 shillings, let's say, I'd say um, like 5% <laughs> of that. 5% would yeah. be about what, um, mathematicians? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, as Lena has said, basically it depends on what you have at um, stake. And financially, um, also what you have in your stock, because whatever you have depends, you can't build a store like um, Safaricom's, Masoko, and you just have like t-shirts, you're only selling, you get. So, if all factors are kept constant, what, what will you really work with on the table? You get? So, the second point is um, the ease of use, uh, both to developers and um, your clients. So, it should be simple to use, even um, to a nursery school kid, I mean, hysterically saying. Uh, because as developers, when we hand over to the client, we want, we want them to be able to upload, um, upload their products without having to, I mean, any developers? Developers, you know how stressful it is when a client calls you at one in the morning. <laughs> I, I want this to be uploaded, to be sold tomorrow, yeah? And, and that time it's a rush sale. You know how stressful that is, yeah? So you want basically the um, client to be able to upload their products and, and be able to really uh, interact with the system in the most simple way possible, yeah? So the third point is um, payment methods. So it, the, um, 
whatever you choose, basically should be, uh, it should have support for multiple payment methods. Um, for example, um, payment, uh, uh, sorry, PayPal, um, Stripe, and, um, oh, Maoko, I saw Maoko somewhere. Uh, thank you, by the way, uh, Maoko developed a plugin for WooCommerce and M-Pesa, so uh, developers, I know you've been super stressed at least for, <laughs> uh, prior to two months since uh, it was launched here. Yeah? So it should be able to also interact with M-Pesa and even payment, uh, payment gateways such as um, I, uh, I pay and um, Pesapal, you know, wh whatever you choose to use, yeah? So the fourth point is on integrations. Basically, um, the number of services and uh, third-party tools you can use to integrate uh, to grow your business such that if you want to integrate, fa um, say, Facebook uh, to market out your um, your products, it's up to you to choose uh, basically what, what pl uh, platform will you use and which will be effective without having to change like, because you won't remain stagnant on one place for about one year, right? So you want to build your e-commerce store over five years without having to change, like you say, you want to use Shopify today, tomorrow you want to use WordPress, tomorrow you want to use Joomla, whatever. But you should really remain on one place, you get? So um, the last point on that is um, scalability. The platform basically should be able to scale as your business grows. Um, I think that's um, more explanatory on the previous uh, point. Breaking it down, um, let's go down to the ease of use. And um, here we're talking about the advantages of why you should uh, really use WordPress. So basically, most users uh, starting an online store are not web designers or developers. Even those who are familiar with bas basic concepts need a platform that is easy to use and gets away, uh, gets out of the way. Developers, I know you've seen this somewhere, <laughs> or you've said it somewhere <laughs> uh, to a client. Ah, there's this algorithm. <laughs> Basically, you don't want to explain what is going on, uh, but you just want to buy time. You really want your client to integrate with um, the system at large, and this is why uh, WooCommerce comes in handy for that. So WooCommerce is not a hosted platform unlike uh, Shopify. And um, this means basically you need to install WooCommerce, manage updates, keep uh, backups, and uh, make sure that your website is secure. There are plenty of ways, um, free, free and uh, play, paid plugins, that can automate and um, manage these tasks for you. Um, back to developers. Maybe, uh, what are some of the plugins? Maybe because WooCommerce is wide, it has a lot of extensions and uh, stuff like that. We, um, what are some of the plugins that you guys use? Uh, to make sure your e-commerce store is perfect. I don't know. Uh, anyway? I'll use some of the ones that I personally use. Um, mainly, I mean, uh, the payment gateways such as Stripe and, um, and uh, PayPal are some of the um, extensions that WooCommerce has and really it really enables um, you to make use of your e-commerce store. So uh, WooCommerce is also super flexible when it comes to customizations and basically you have control of the whole platform. You can 
add any uh, functionality imaginable to your website with uh, numerous uh, WordPress, WordPress plugins. WooCommerce is actually really easy to use and um, there was someone who said that they're not focused on WordPress because it's difficult to learn. It was you, yes? Trust you me. If you actually focus, once you actually get to know about WordPress, personally, I took a month. I just blocked out everything. I, I was a very perfect coder, but I blocked out everything for one month and uh, signed up to lynda.com um, and watched videos that are there. And trust you me, I, it didn't even take me two days after I'm done. Oh, uh, remember the previous website I talked about, the, the hotel? I still did it with WordPress. And a Rwandese mu mu musician called me uh, two days later. And this time, by the way, I have no experience. I just know WordPress is, has free themes. I didn't even know about Envato by that time and uh, all that stuff. And really, it's that, that gave me uh, an exposure to really um, come out of the closet and build uh, very good and uh, responsive websites. I can say basically WordPress for me, I've built almost hmm, about, for the five years, about uh, 60 or so websites. So it's really, um, ever since basically learned and uh, it's really um, assisted me to, and, oh, and uh, WooCommerce stores have built about 10. So out of those 60, so yeah. WooCommerce is uh, super flexible when it comes to customizations. Oh, sorry. Now, um, the biggest downside of um, flexibility, it, it comes when um, about the learning curve and requires more hands-on management or, or on your website. Basically, you have to sign up for a merchant account or similar service like uh, Stripe or PayPal. Um, but the WooCommerce guided setup wizard uh, makes it helpful. Um, it doesn't come uh, on, uh, close to the onboarding and ease of use of Shop Shopify. Well, um, what did I say? Uh, Shopify yes, is easy to use, but we all know until you. Uh, y we know how expensive it is, first of all. Let's even start there. I know it's on my next point, but um, Spotify, uh, Shopify is um, how much? Um, there's someone who said they developed with Shopify? It's about $29, yeah? Uh, okay, yes, it's simple to use, but you don't have ownership of that system. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, so... On to the second point, um, cost. So basically WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin for uh, WordPress. Also no, WordPress.org uh, bloggers, there's WordPress.org. Uh, it's also known as uh, self-hosted WordPress. It's uh, open source and uh, freely available as a WordPress plugin. However, you'll need to uh, buy a domain, SSL certificate, WordPress hosting, and to start an e a WooCommerce store. So basically, the, start, uh, the cost of starting a WooCommerce store is significantly lower than Shopify. Uh, WooCommerce also doesn't charge you a percentage fee uh, on your transactions, which is very nice. I mean. You have to pay $29 every month. So in a year, how much will you have spent? On average, again, mathematicians, any? About um, $300 a year to, and in this you haven't calculated um, 
the amount they're going to remove uh, for your percentage transactions and all that stuff. So WooCommerce, on the other hand, does not charge you for anything like that. So you know that uh, basically all profits are on you. But um, the challenge comes when um, you have to um, set up WooCommerce costs, uh, start, starting up um, as you purchase paid extensions, uh, your hosting cost will also increase as your online store grows. So, I don't know. Uh, some uh, people start with uh, the basic package, right? And sometimes the basic package is about, uh, it ranges between what? Um, about $15 to about uh, 60 right? And this keep on increasing uh, as you, your store becomes bigger. I mean, you can't say uh, someone like um, Jumia or Kilimall uh, using uh, 50, uh, about $60 a year to host, uh, to host that website because they have powerful servers. It's, J Jumia is uh, across Africa. So they have bigger, bigger servers as, um, as you keep on growing. So, but one advantage about using WooCommerce is that you can often find uh, free alternatives uh, to the paid extend extensions, and you can also keep your cost in control by only purchasing the tools and plugins that, as you need them. So, on to the third point, we're talking about um, payment options, and there, there are many payment gateways that uh, you can use to accept uh, payments online. Some may not be available in the country, and um, uh, it is, sorry, uh, some may not be uh, suitable f uh, for you, and others might not uh, be available to your customers. Um, at the moment, I'm actually working on um, an, a, a small e-commerce store. Um, it's mainly for selling tickets, and it's a Kenyan event, but the client, because um, they have people abroad and stuff like that, who are coming for the event, they had to, they, they really wanted uh, PayPal to be on the website, and PayPal, yes, is available as an extension. Uh, both, um, we have, I think, PayPal and uh, PayPal Standard and uh, PayPal Checkout. But we have one problem. PayPal is, uh, uh, cannot accept any, uh, or rather it accepts um, fewer currencies as expected. So on the front end of this website, basically it's showing in Kenya shillings and on the back end, when, when you're going to uh, the checkout, it checks out in dollars. Why? Because, again, you have to really tweak your site as much as possible so that you can be able to uh, accept payments. So um, th that's why it's really important to um, the, the platform that you choose to offer multiple payment options uh, for example, Shopify and WooCommerce compare when it comes to payment integrations like, uh, again, as I said, PayPal, Stripe, or guys in uh, Kenya, we know of iPay, right? iPay is also really efficient. And really, um, it depends on what you really want to focus on. WooCommerce also offers uh, Again, PayPal and Stripe as default payments, but it depends on what uh, you want to add. For payment gateways, uh, WooCommerce even has uh, support for many uh, regional and less popular payment services. 
uh, since there's no barrier to entry and uh, any payment company can create add-ons for uh, WooCommerce and provide support for it, again, I pay. Uh, and uh, that's a pal. I think even Jumbo Pay, yeah? Yeah. Um, so as, as a self-hosted platform, you are only charged transaction fees by your payment gateway, which, is, which uh, would be about what? It, it would range about between 1.9, I guess, 1.9% to, um, to 3%, to 3%, yeah? yeah? Um, transaction fees. And unless you're using for events like uh, Eventbrite or stuff like that, or is it Ticket, ticket Sasa? That charges about 8 to 10%. Uh, really, and that's on their platform. So if it's on your platform, I mean, uh, you can always, I mean, even when you host um, Pesa, it charges what, 0.5%? Yeah, so payment charges are only uh, on what your uh, provider, what your payment gateway will charge, uh, or your bank, of course. And if basically choosing your own uh, payment merchant account and using a third party service is important for you, then uh, you'll definitely sell, sa save a lot of money by using WooCommerce. So, on to integrations. I think we had talked about it earlier, but um, just expanding on it. WooCommerce is uh, an open source uh, and built on top of WordPress. This gives you access of, uh, to plenty of WordPress plugins and more paid um, plugins. Um, you can also use these add-ons and payment gateways, um, SEO, uh, Yoast, and, uh, I know, again, as uh, Mary had talked about it earlier. You can also hire a developer to create um, an integration or plugin just for your own website. However, it's important to keep in mind that uh, WooCommerce is a lot easier to customize. Uh, how, having personally gone through uh, the pro process of submitting a plugin for WordPress and submitting an app to the Shopify store, basically we can say that the process is extremely harder uh, on Shopify versus WooCommerce. I mean, like uh, WooCommerce, basically you can be online in, uh, if you even choose to even just use a free theme, you can be up in 15 minutes as compared to Shopify where you have to wait for approvals and uh, customizations and all that stuff, which is a bit time wasting. I mean, like if you really want to sell something on the fly, you will be wasting your time with. Um, Shopify and uh, WooCommerce will, will give you that opportunity to, to really put your products um, out there. Um, I guess this is my last point on uh, scalability and uh, growth. So WooCommerce is a self-hosted platform which uh, is responsible for maintaining updates uh, backups and uh, security of, of your website. Your starter um, WooCommerce hosting plan would run out of resources as you, your store starts getting more traffic. Let me put something here across before I go to the next point. Shopify, if you really need to expand your store, you'll end up paying, what, what's the uh, highest package? How much is the highest package? Oh. It should be about, what, $150 plus a month, I guess, or more, yeah? Wo as opposed to WooCommerce, WooCommerce just needs, I mean, you, 
already have your theme live, right? You just need to expand your uh, hosting package. I mean, you can always shift to, we have uh, Bluehost, um, GoDaddy, or if you really want to uh, maximize on stuff like speed and stuff like that, you have uh, DigitalOcean and many others, yeah? So it really enables you to be able to scale uh, uh, your business and track, uh, enable that uh, growth uh, track pro progress. The good part is that you have uh, plenty of options to manage growth as you're in full control of uh, your website, starting with uh, better management of resources with catching up to, uh, to upgrading your hosting um, plan to more powerful servers. So basically, your WooCommerce hosting uh, co costs will increase, but you'll have to be uh, better um, in control of uh, uh, your resources, and you can make sure that you're not paying for resources that you don't need. Uh, despite the control, uh, 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 WooCommerce offers some bu business owners sim simply prefer a hassle-free solution. Well. I don't see any need of <laughs> really, um, again, but back to my disclaimer, uh, you can choose any uh, other, any, any platform that you wish, but WooCommerce is uh, the way to go. So, Basically, in summary, uh, we're, talking, we're saying that um, WooCommerce is um, open source and gives you full control of your website. It costs a lot lower to start uh, with WooCommerce, as especially uh, with uh, WooCommerce hosting companies such as... Uh, the, um, we, okay. Uh, let me pose a question here. Which is WordPress uh, recommended hosting company? Anyone? Oh, yes. The person who answers. I believe it is Bluehost, if I'm not wrong. Yes, you're correct. You're right. This is for you. <laughs> you're welcome. I'd recommend it also myself. Uh, basically, um, the disadvantage is that you have to maintain the software that comes with a bit of a learning curve. Again, uh, back to you, sir. Uh, him. <laughs> um, he said uh, it's a bit hard to learn WordPress, but with it, it, once you see, WordPress is really that. Um, that thing that once you learn, you learn, you, you keep on increasing your knowledge, you get. You don't learn and then you just forget overnight. It's not that, as in, it was built for everyone. Let me just put it that way, yeah? So, you, once you're able to manage, the, uh, it's, it's a really small learning curve, but once you're able to get your feet up, you will really love it. And, um, However, millions of uh, beginners are already using it, and um, they get to overcome the learning phase quite quickly. If you're use, uh, looking for a cost-effective solution and you want to have uh, full control of your online store, then WooCommerce is definitely the best platform for you.